And um, on UK, would you invite the Prime Minister uh, David Cameron to address the European Parliament and present his ideas for renegotiation? Thank you. The second question, all Prime Ministers of the European Union are always free to come to the European Parliament to present their ideas. There's a lot of uh, Prime Ministers who... Uh, I know at least one who is always fascinated to come whenever he has uh, created a problem in his country to address the European Parliament. Prime Ministers of the Member States of the European Union who want to address the Parliament of the European Union are always have a standing invitation if they want to address the European Parliament. And uh, the I, uh, answering to your first question, yes, I understand people who are uh, nervous, who are disappointed, who think that's enough now. But uh, my experience is in the most turbulent times you need cool, cold blood. I understand people, citizens, who uh, are not entering every day until the last details our debates here, who tell me also on the street that's enough now. Let's get rid of, the, of it. Okay, this is a normal feeling, and I feel uh, I, I understand that people. But this is not uh, what politicians should do, because we have to take into account that uh, acting too fast and under pressure could create enormous long-term negative effects, under which nobody uh, suffers more than exactly the ordinary people about you just spoke. 